A work by the street artist known as Banksy sold at auction the other day for well over a million dollars. Then something happened that was, well, surreal. Here's Sunday morning's Lee Cowan. Paintings that sell for $1.4 million don't generally make news at Sotheby's. But when the gavel fell on the girl with the balloon, this Chardonnay sipping affair became a piece of pop culture. A remote controlled shredder hidden in the painting's frame began chewing its way through the canvas, a shock to everyone, including its new unnamed owner. Street art has a short lifespan. It's the so painter himself to, taking credit, you know, the elusive you know, Banksy, who posted an Instagram video that he says shows him secretly installing the teeth into the frame. Why? Performance art, says art critic Jerry Saltz. I don't know if it's a message so much as him saying, enough. You know, you put your hammer down on my work, I'm putting my hammer down on your work. Known as a guerrilla artist, he normally paints where he's not supposed to, mostly on buildings and walls the world over. He's done stunts before, like when he placed a life-size replica of a Guantanamo Bay detainee in the middle of a children's ride at Disneyland. What he does, even by destroying something, has a certain market value. It's so voracious and mindless that my guess is by now they've all decided now the work is worth twice as much. There's a lot of head scratching going on at Sotheby's, which insists it was not in on the prank. But by turning to ribbons, one of his most iconic images, Banksy has at the very least stayed true to his mission, making a statement while forcing the rest of us to think. Lee Cowan, CBS News, Los Angeles.